Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In today's video we have another very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Equation is 75 minus 10x minus x square whole power 1 over x plus 5 whole square equal to 99 and we are going to calculate real solutions only. So let's get it started by writing x plus 5 cannot be 0. So x can't be negative 5. Now I will consider this quadratic first separately. So 75 minus 10x minus x square. I can write 75 minus 10x I will split minus 15x plus 5x. Product is minus 75x square. Now I will take 15 common from first two terms. So 5 minus x and I will take x common from last two. So I will get the same bracket 5 minus x. So overall we can factor our quadratic. It would be 5 minus x times 15 plus x. Now I will write our equation. 5 minus x times 15 plus x whole power is 1 over x plus 5 whole square equal to 99. Now I will raise both sides power x plus 5 whole square. So let me write this way. Here also now using exponent property I can cancel these two so I can write 5 minus x times 15 plus x equal to 99 raised to the power 5 plus x whole square. Here I have used property from exponents a power b whole power c. It would be equal to a power b times c. Now I will consider our substitution. So I will consider 5 plus x. Let 5 plus x equal to y. So I can write x would be y minus 5. Let's apply. So I can write our equation. It would be 5 minus x. So minus y plus 5. 15 plus x. So 15 plus y minus 5 equal to 99 power would be y square. Now this is 10 minus y. This bracket we can write 10 plus y equal to 99 power would be y square. Now a plus b times a minus b we can write 10 square minus y square equal to 99 raised to the power y square. Now I can write 100 minus y square equal to 99 raised to the power y square. Now I will consider 100 minus y square equal to a. Let 100 minus y square equal to a or y square will be 100 minus a. So this value I will apply here. So left hand side we can write a. Right hand side it would be 99 power would be 100 minus a. Using exponent property I can write 99 power 100 
डिवाइडेड बाय 99 पार ए सो इक्वेशन विल बिकम ए टाइम्स 99 पार ए इक्वल टू 99 पार 100 लेट अस राइट हेयर Now we know that e raised to the power ln x, it is equal to x. So consider this is x. So I can write a times e raised to the power ln 99. Whole power is a equal to 99 power would be 100. Now a power b whole power c, we can write a power b times c. So we can multiply these two exponents. So a times e raised to the power a ln 99. This would be equal to 99 power 100. Now I will write one property from Lambert W function. It is x times e raised to the power x Lambert W function this will give us x. So here we have a times ln 99. Here ln 99 is missing. So let us multiply by ln 99 both sides. Here also ln 99. Now left hand side and right hand side. I will consider Lambert W function. So let me write both sides. So I will be writing lambda w function a ln 99 times e raised to the power a ln 99 equal to lambda w function 99 power 100 times ln 99. So we can write LHS as a ln 99 and RHS would be lambda w function 99 power 100 ln 99. Let us write here A ln 99 equal to lambda w function 99 power 100 times ln 99. Now I can write our RHS 99 power 100 as 99 power 1 times 99 power 99 then ln 99. Now again I will change the base using property of exponents. So I can write lambda w function 99 times this 99 I will be writing e raised to the power ln 99 and then whole power is 99 times ln 99. Now I can write lambda w function 99 and last term ln 99 all together. Then we can multiply these two parts. So it would be e raised to the power 99 ln 99. Now if we will consider this is z then e raised to the power z lambda w function we can write only z so 99 ln 99 left hand side a ln 99. So this will be cancelled out once we will divide. So a is coming out 99. Now a was our substitution 100 minus y square. So I will be writing here 100 minus y square equal to 99 or y square will be equal to 100 minus 99. It is 1. So y will become plus and minus 1. Now y it was again our substitution. So I will be writing 
x plus 5 equal to plus 1 and minus 1. Take away 5 from both sides. So x will become 1 minus 5 minus 4 negative 4 negative 1 negative 5 negative 6. So we have two real solutions negative 4 and negative 6. Let us cross check both the solutions. So I will write here check x equal to negative 4 first. So I will be writing our LHS 75 minus 10 minus 4 so plus 40 minus x square so minus 16 raised to the power 1 over 5 minus 4 that means 1 whole square 75 plus 40 it would be 115 minus 16 so 99 so i can write 99 power will be 1 which will give us 99 and this is our rhs hence verified now let's consider x is equal to negative 6 lhs so i will be writing here 75 plus 60 minus 36 and power will be 1 over minus 6 plus 5 minus 1 whole square so again i will be having 99 and power will be 1 over negative 1 square is again 1 so value will be 99 which is our rhs hence this is also verified and this brings the end of the video do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video friends good luck take care of yourself goodbye